Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my complete guide to the Axe Edge Editor, part one. Turn on Bluetooth on the Axe Edge by pressing the menu button, then pressing the right arrow button five times. So the display says system, then press the enter button and press the right arrow button seven times. So the display says Bluetooth off, then press the plus button. So the display says Bluetooth on. Now press the exit button two times. Open the Axe Edge Editor app. Tap on Setup. Then tap on BT Devices. Tap on Axe Edge. Then tap on your phone's back icon. Tap on the list box to the right of the word input and tap on Axe Edge. Then tap on the list box to the right of the word output and tap on Axe Edge. Select a sound patch on the Axe Edge that you want to edit. Then tap on Editor in the Axe Edge Editor app. On the first screen, the words Sound and Common are highlighted red. Here, you can tap on the bar to the right of the word Level to change the master volume level of the sound patch. On the pop-up slider, Either drag your finger left on the slider to reduce the volume. Or drag to the right to increase the volume. Or tap on the plus or minus icons to the right and left of the slider. Tap on the bar to the right of the word Tempo to change the beat speed of the sound patch. This is used to set any synchronized timings for things like the step sequencer. Tap on Switch. Tap on the words On and off in the boxes below the words part 1, 2, 3 and 4 that are below the words keyboard switch to turn on or off each of the four sound parts that make up a sound patch. Each sound part can have up to four tones. It is easier to create new sound patches by editing one sound part at a time. So tap on the words on and off, so it says on below part 1 and off below parts 2, 3 and 4. The words on and off below the parts 1, 2, 3 and 4, below the words arpeggio switch, are used to set which sound parts will ignore the arpeggiator button on the axe edge. Tap on on to change a part to off. Off stops that sound part from responding to the arpeggiator button. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.